So, how do you pick a registrar for your certification? Well, let's first answer the question, what is a registrar? A registrar is also known as a certification body, or a certification auditor, or a conformity assessment body. A registrar is an entity that visits your organization to assess your compliance to a standard, and then, if you are compliant, issues you a certificate and places you on the register of compliant organizations. Picking the right registrar is important. Selecting the wrong registrar can be a critical fail if it does not meet customer requirements. I've spoken with many clients that have been ready to choose a registrar without really diving into what their customer expectations really are in relation to what kind of certification they get and from whom. Take the time to understand your customer's requirements and the pluses and minuses of the various registrars before making your final choice. When choosing a registrar, there are many factors to consider. Some factors to consider include the following. Customer requirements, accreditation of the registrar, reputation of the registrar, program requirements, and cost. We've already discussed customer requirements, so let's move on to discuss the accreditation of the registrar. You can get an accredited or an unaccredited certification. Usually, accredited is the way to go, but not always, depending on your specific goals and budget. If you are looking at getting an accredited certification, you may consider the following in making your choice. International memberships of the registrar, regional memberships of the registrar, and by the way, customers may have preferences in what accreditation or other memberships your registrar has. Also, pay attention to your registrar's marketing rules and how you can use their certification marks on your product services or marketing materials. Some registrars have a stronger reputation than others. A few registrars are unaccredited, but still have a significant reputation that lends them considerable credibility, even without the accreditation. For reputation, you may consider the following. Accreditation memberships, primary industry or specialty of the registrar, past history, and general customer perception. Each registrar tends to have a slightly different program or system in place for how you achieve and maintain a certification program. For program requirements, you may consider the following. The frequency of audits, cost of ongoing audits, surprise audits, and notification requirements, and scope considerations. The cost of a registrar can vary widely. Get several quotes before making your choice. Ensure that the registrar has the right information about your organization. Many times I have seen registrars fail to collect accurate information about the organization, resulting in quotes that are not what they should have been. This makes it harder for you to compare apples to apples. So in summary, take the time to understand your internal requirements, your customers' requirements, and the pluses and minuses of various registrars before making your final choice. Use the factors and considerations listed above to help you qualify your registrar.